we shall learn how to design different clamping circuits clamber or clamping circuits clamping circuits are also called dc insertion circuits because we are adding or inserting dc to a signal consider a signal like this a sinusoidal signal you mark like this with a 20 volt peak to peak 20 volt peak to peak signal is given now this signal should be clamped positively now this signal will be clamped positively that means 10 volt should be inserted to the signal to get this so this is zero and this will be naturally 20 volt and this is VO and you can call this V in or V I input voltage this is output voltage so this signal now is clamped up by 10 volt a 10 volt constant is added to every instant of the signal every instant of the signal so you get the signal as such clamped up now this waveform is called a positive clamped waveform clamped at zero that means negative peak is clamped at zero how you get this see a function generator generate a sine wave with the 20, 20 volt peak to peak now this signal this is the input signal v1 and output vo we should get from here and how you get what should you add a dc signal should be added where you get a dc signal dc signal can be obtained from a dc source so add like this a positive voltage plus here and minus here this signal is added to this signal so here this signal will vary from positive to negative now this how much voltage 10 volt 10 voltage should be added twin volt should be added to this input signal so you get this and similarly if you want to clamp it down in this way adding minus 10 volt we get here it is minus 20 volt minus 20 volt how do you get this just reverse this cell minus here a positive here so you are adding a minus 10 volt to this signal so just reverse this this is the basic idea but here we know that dc cell is costly so using DC source, if you set up this circuit, it will be expensive. So what we do? We can replace this cell by a capacitor because capacitor is used for charging to a certain voltage. So we can use a capacitor here which charges to 10 volt. That is the basic idea. So suppose this is the voltage you want. This is the voltage you want. This signal is clamped positively at 0 volt. What should we do? This should be charged to some 10 volt how can you achieve this just connect a diode like this then this capacitor will be charged in this order with the positive right side negative side side to that peak 10 volt if its peak is like this if its peak is 10 volt so it will charge in this order so this is a diode which will have a unidirectional property only when a negative potential is here so what is the maximum voltage appears here to that voltage this capacitor will charge so this is negative voltage maximum voltage you get is minus 10 volt so at any negative half cycle of the input voltage any negative half cycle of the input voltage instantaneously the capacitor will be charged to that voltage 10 volt now after it is charged you know heavy voltage say 10 volt is here will be here so if some zero volt is here what will happen the diode is reverse bias so until this diode gets a more positive potential here the diode will be reverse bias so this capacitor will not be discharged because diode is not permitting to make the current flow in this direction so this is the way this diode is used just to uh, charge this capacitor in a particular uh, direction if you reverse this capacitor what will happen if this is a polarity capacitor and if you reverse this something like this what will happen this capacitor will be charged in this fashion with the positive here and negative here when when positive half cycle comes here so peak 10 voltage to peak 10 voltage this will be charged so 10 voltage 
with negative here and positive here comes then diode will not respond once it is charged to negative potential because this is connected to positive terminal this is the idea this is the idea uh, now we shall see the exact voltage to which this is clamped this waveform as we said earlier is a positive clamped waveform clamped at zero volt but is it exactly at zero volt yes it will be at zero volt if this is an ideal diode if it were an ideal circuit ideal diode then it would be at zero but it is not an ideal one nothing is ideal in this world diode will have a potential of 0.7 volt across this in this order 0.7 volt so what will happen effectively when positive and volt we can even represent with a cell connected in this way with this 0.7 volt see this is an ideal one this is the voltage forward voltage vd now ideal diode with a voltage source expressed separately explicitly outside now what will happen now what will happen this capacitor is no longer charged to 10 voltage what will be the voltage to which it charges we shall consider positively clamped signal positive, positive clamp up in this case this voltage will be negative here positive here 0.7 volt and the capacitor will be charged in this order to what voltage with the positive and negative here is it to 10 voltage no because you know here positive here negative and 10 voltage peak comes at one instant maximum voltage appears here is 10 volt with the negative here so what is the net voltage coming across this capacitor see it is positive and negative it is 0.7 volt here it is 10 volt here so some net voltage coming across this capacitor considering this is shortened consider this is shortened what is the voltage coming across this it is 10 minus 0.7 volt this is 9.3 volt so net voltage is only 9.3 voltage so in some 10 voltage let to read it is at 9.3 volt positive so the waveform will be like this with naturally this will be 0.7 volt 0.7 volt so peak to peak amplitude always will remain same 20 volt My, uh, minus 0.72 this uh, 19.3 volt positive so peak voltage peak to peak voltage is always 20 in this case also it is 20 but if it were at zero so this is uh, a typical way of drawing a real diode using a separate uh, cell uh, just now again we consider instead of this let this be an ideal diode and we are connected 3 volt here what will happen 3 volt here so instead of minus 0.7 volt this will be minus 3 volt it will be here so minus 3 volt it will be further down minus minus 3 volt so to what voltage you connect here at negative see minus 3 volt so it is connected it is uh, clamped at minus 3 volt so looking at this diagram we can immediately uh, uh, predict what will be the output waveform how oh, the input voltage is this so look at this diode connection it is negative at top immediately we can understand that the capacitor will be charged in this diagram so it is a positive clamp it is a positive clamp so we assume that positive clamp ideally without any cell here will be clamped up and will be will have its negative peak at zero now look at this voltage source a biasing you connected a biasing with the negative on top so the instead of at zero it will be at minus 3 volt when this was zero it was located at zero when it is at minus 3 it is located at minus 3 it's a simple idea then just to consider another circuit suppose this is the circuit diagram input capacitance and uh, okay this is uh, 6 volt and this is a diode in this case what will be output of waveform first look at this diode it is negative on top so the signal will be post for uh, signal will be clamped up so let this be the zero line clamped up clamped up same input signal we use 20 volt peak to peak clamped up and aligned at zero okay simple now look at this potential it is plus 6 volt so instead of at 0 it should be at 6 volt so we will draw like this this is 0 
sorry 6 volt plus 6 volt because plus 6 is here so that's plus 6 volt so these are the two steps first step to see how the direction of the diode how the diode is connected when it is negative it is for clamped up look at the potential here it is plus 6 so instead of at 0 it is now located at plus 6 and now third step is to see the net voltage here is it exactly 6 volt here no net voltage will be you see minus positive 0.7 volt here and this again plus minus net voltage will be 5.3 volt so here instead of 6 volt this will be 5.3 volt so this is the way of obtaining a waveform from the circuit diagram now in the reverse order in examinations the question will be to set up this circuit diagram from the waveform so waveform will be given you have to get the circuit diagram now we shall see how to design it so we actually come to the design aspects now because waveform is given obtain the circuit diagram how we approach it we shall see now yes our input signal is this input signal is this now the question is to obtain obtain this waveform with 5.7 volt minus this is 5.7 volt minus how do we obtain this now you know this signal first we shall think it is a negative clamped signal if it is a negative clamped signal this peak will be here so we will draw the input function as input and 20 volt peak to peak whatever given voltage and capacity is here and since this is natively clamped we will connect like this natively clamped positive there is an anode of the diode should be on top now what voltage that is that waveform will be here with uh, its positive peak at zero if it is natively clamped now it is further brought down by minus 5.7 what we do just mark as such minus 5.7 minus 5.7 but now you know in this 5.7 volt the net voltage is the exact voltage you have to mark here net voltage is here plus minus minus plus plus minus minus plus net voltage will be since this is 0.7 voltage 0.7 volt total volt will be 5 volt 5 volt so we need only we need to get minus 5.7 volt this is not enough if you connect minus 5.7 volt we will get only 5 volt actually we need 5.7 volt so we have to have an extra 0.7 to this voltage making this 6.4 volt see 6.4 volt when you connect you will get to minus 5.7 volt so this is the way of designing any circuit first step is diode connection of diode connection of diode if it is native clamber connect diode with a positive on top if it is positive clamber connect diode with a negative on top first step is over what is the second step second step is to see where that uh, peak is located in the native clamber peak was zero at what voltage now it is there if it is in a new voltage the voltage at which peak is located connect in the same way if it is minus 5.7 connect minus on top 5.7 itself 5.7 5.7 you connect there as such so second step is over third step is to adjust that 0.7 voltage that is the potential across the diode how you adjust you know the net voltage is this so if the same terminal comes nearer like minus and minus or positive and positive definitely the net voltage will be less than what you connect here so you have to add an extra potential of 0.7 volt if it is in the order plus minus and plus minus we have to detect that 0.7 voltage 0.7 voltage from the voltage that exactly we have to do this is a design aspect circuit the waveform is given circuit diagram is to be uh, obtained so first we will mark as such minus 5.7 then we will add or subtract the 0.7 voltage to that when you look at this you find same terminals are coming here so net potential across this is this voltage minus this potential 
that's why we have to put, make an extra potential to this to make it 6.4 volt so you give any waveform we can design in a few seconds any waveform take another example see then let this be the input signal with uh, 10 volt post 10 volt here and uh, minus 10 volt here and let this be the signal we want a new signal something like this let this be minus 4 volt a minus 4 volt how you design this immediately see what you have to do is input like this connect the capacitor and this is OC clamper connect native here and at what voltage is connected minus 4.4 volt and you see it is 4 volt volt first you mark here but net voltage will be 4.7 exactly mean it is 3 point so we will make it 3.3 volt first how fast we could just in a few seconds we could design what I did actually first being this is positive clamber connected diode in this order then look at this potential this minus 4 volt I connected minus 4 here minus 4 first I just mark as such minus on top and 4 volt there and what I did now look at this minus positive minus positive total voltage will be sum of this 0.7 and this so it will be 4.7 we need only minus 4 voltage actually if you connect 4 volt here the net voltage will be 4.7 but we need what is asked is minus 4 see net voltage minus C here so higher voltage minus 4 here this is small minus 0.7 so instead of 4 volt if you connect a 4 volt here you will get 4.7 but we have to design a circuit which will give exactly this waveform so what will you do if it gives 4.7 volt what will we will reduce this by 0.7 to get 3.3 volt so any way for you, any circuit you can design in this manner. That's a very simple manner. If you practice and if you listen very carefully, what exactly we have done, we will understand it's working. And also you can see that what is the potential to which this capacitor charge, this one. It will be 16 volt. See, if this is 4 volt, this will be 16 volt. What will be this potential? It will be, since this is 4 volt, this will be 6 volt. Post is 6 voltage. This is the 6 voltage here. This 6 voltage is across the capacitor. And we can find it out. You can as a homework, you can find out how this is charged to 6 volt. You can directly find. See, it will charge in this manner with positive here. When positive here and negative here, then 10 volt appears here. So net voltage coming across this is 0.7, then 3.3 and 10 volts. Net voltage it will work out to 6 volts. You can calculate. See, minus here 10 volt in this in this position, minus 10 volt, then plus 3.3 volt plus plus 0.7 volt will be 6 volt so you can analyze in a different orders and you will find it out this nothing but 6 volt of course minus here with the minus here you get minus 6 volt so to what voltage this waveform is clamped up is decided by the capacitor voltage and at what level the new peak locates is decided by the voltage here these are two points very simple way you can design it if you listen a little bit uh, carefully and uh, different waveforms and different uh, other aspects of design the value for the capacitance is also important capacitance we will select a uh, electrolytic capacitor if you keep a higher value it's better but the minimum value of the electrolytic capacitor is about 1 microfarad so you can use a 10 microfarad also and uh, you can uh, get the output for uh, different waveforms positive clamber, negative clamber then clamping positively at positive clamping positively at this is po clamping positively at negative and you can have clamping negatively at negative or clamping negatively at positive all sort of waveforms you can obtain and the corresponding design can be done easily let uh, this be a question as for example obtain the following waveform from 20 volt peak to peak
let this be the way how do you get it if you have not understood anything whatever i said just for exam say just use the tips first anyway the signal on that here capacitance is there here what you do first the waveform is clamped down negatively clamped originally this was here this originally this was here now it is clamped down so what do you do positive on the diode connection just a diode connected with anode on top will clamp it down same now what at what voltage this is connected it is plus 4 volt in fact this is over in fact the circuit diagram is over if you don't consider the point 7 here you know this potential is plus 4 volt this you have to get from here this 4 volt you have to get from here with the positive here but already for here it is for you know this 0.7 volt will be added with this to get points for 0.7 but we need only 4 volt what you have to do in the sense this is 0.7 volt with positive and negative here we have to rearrange this as 0.3.3 volt simple circuit is over diode connect diode decides the direction clamped it down and now this potential is with the positive here 3.3 volt because total voltage is 3.3 plus 3.3 with the positive here and points when post here total will be 4 volt so that is the voltage you get here yeah. now we shall discuss the transfer characteristics of uh, clamping circuits of course uh, let this be a signal as ours and the positive and the output of form if this is 20 volt peak peak this is negative clamper if this is not there what will happen the negative clamper but it is let it be 3 volt now this is located at 3 volt. plus 3 And the total is actually plus 0.7 and plus 3, so total will be 3.7. So this is it. Now, what will be the transfer characteristics of this? Suppose no clamping has been done. In that case, in the transfer characteristics with V I here and V O here, without any clamping activities, if the input and output are same, you will get a graph like this. Input and output are same. No clamping, nothing. In this, if this is clamped post negatively, it will be like this. Fully, completely clamped it down. If it is post, if it is clamped up, it will be like this. This all we know. For this particular case, what will be the character six? See, it is clamped. But see here, three point seven volt. Three point seven volt. in this way if a question is given to obtain a circuit to design a circuit to obtain this particular characteristics what we do let be a question obtain following transfer characteristics from 20 volt peak to peak sensorial wave plus transfer character signal let this be a 5 volt naturally if this is 5 volt this will be 15 volt minus how do you approach how do you approach to obtain a circuit diagram we have to design a circuit diagram a clamper circuit diagram to obtain this so i shall only draw that the branch the capacitors and input source i am just avoiding for the simplicity since this is this waveform or this transfer characteristic a is corresponding to the a waveform which is clamped down but at plus 5 volt clamped down so what we do clamped down diode anode diode anode is set up at 5 volt just connect actually this is over 5 volt it's correct and it's over but you know if 
if you consider that one seven volt here, you know this coming in series, so net volt will be five point seven volt. So we need to get five volt here. So what we can do is reduce the point seven here to get four point three volt. This will be the cycle diagram. Of course, we can connect the capacitors here and uh, input source etc. This is the way of doing it. Okay, I think you understood. It's working. Now, yes, student can ask a different question. Why you consider it is a negative clamper clamped at plus five volt? Why don't we consider this way? It is a positive clamper clamped at minus fifteen volt. Of course, that is also possible. It is a positive clamper clamped at minus fifteen volt. Otherwise, it is a negative clamper clamped at five volt. Both are correct. This is a circuit we considered in this way that the circuit is a, cl a negative clamper clamping at five volt. A negative clamper clamping at plus five volt. Otherwise, it is a positive clamper clamping at minus five fifteen volt. It, in that case, what we do? It is a positive clamper clamped at minus fifteen volt. This is also possible. Of course, you can consider the 0.7 volt so that we can make 14.3 volt. This is also possible. See, that means to obtain this transfer characteristics, you can have a two circuits, this way or this way. That means you can connect the diode in either direction, but the polarity and the amplitude of the source connected, the biasing supply connected, is different. So any any circuit, any circuit. Take another example, another example. Something like this. This is three volt, positive three volt. Naturally, this will be twenty three volt. What are the options? What are the options? So we can avoid this and consider this example. First, if you consider this as a positive clamper clamping at plus three, a positive clamper clamping at plus three, just like this. Of course, this. If you connect three voltage here, if you connect a three voltage here, net voltage will be two point three. So we need to get three volt. So what we do? Since these are coming in this order, you have to connect an extra point seven volt. So net voltage will be three volt. It is three volt. This is positive clamper clamping at three. So it's a positive clamper clamping at three because three point seven and extra point seven is connected here because. Same terminals are coming to us, so that the net potential will be the difference of these two potentials. So that is it. Now we can consider the other way. It is a negative clamber clamping at 23. That means it is a negative clamber clamping at. It is a negative clamber clamping at plus 23. Of course, this is 23 volt. So you can reduce that point seven since it is coming in series to make it 22 point. Uh, 3 volt. Now look, both are giving the same this transfer characters. Both will give the transfer the same transfer characters. Here diodes are in uh, different positions, but voltage you see it is positive here, but here again it is uh, positive but higher voltage. Which we, normally we select this one being this is low voltage source. This is more optimum because here we have to use higher potential. That's all. You can get. Uh, Characteristics or waveforms of a clamping circuit with diodes in either direction, but we shall take and use these tips like this. Assume first the first step is to assume whether the uh, waveform is clamped up or clamped down. You are having that freedom to choose. If it is considered clamped up, so connect the diode like that. At what voltage to which? That uh, new location of that uh, zero, uh, that peak, which would have been at zero, which would have been at zero when it is clamped up. When it is clamped up, negative peak would be at zero. When it is clamped down, positive peak would be at zero. What will be the new location, new voltage when it is clamped finally? So that voltage connect here with the proper polarity. So this way you can design any clamper circuit in minimum time.